Hello, fellers. How you all doing? Oh, shit. Let me adjust my mic. Are we live? Are we good? Can you hear me? Hello. Long time no see. How you doing, trash bags? <laughs> you degenerates. How are you? Listen. Now we're coming in. You know, I've got to be serious tonight because am I low? I turned it up. Is that better? How are you? How you doing? Hello? Oh, what the hell? Because I turned it down the other day when I had guests on. Is that better? Is that better? Because we got to be able to hear me. Uh, Kate Winslet, it was, it was never approved for me to go live tonight. Um, so, we decided to override that and go ahead and go live. Alright, so, this is a lot, y'all. Okay? It is a lot. A lot. And I never thought I would have to fucking sit here and do this today. It's a lot. Um, now I'm not going to sit on here and get, I'm going to try not to get emotional. I'm just going to try to grow through it, show the receipts that I got, and show you guys what happened from my perspective. But the first thing that I want to do is, uh, I don't want anyone bashed, and I mean Sam and Yabba in the chat. Um, if you are bashing it, because we're not here to do that, because we're better than them. My saying is, honey, <laughs> we might be trash, but we're not garbage, okay? Because I want you guys to hear me out. I'm not going to be paying attention to the chat either, um, because it is a lot a lot. We're not here to bash people. I'm here to see, to explain to you guys what happened from my perspective, because that is the only perspective that I can explain it from. Okay. Does that make sense? So we've got notes. We've got receipts. I have also, now that I really know how, turned off super chats because I am not going to sit here and make money off of something that I thought was a friendship. <clears throat> I cannot turn off memberships because I have to reset the whole entire thing. And I'm not going to do that. I'm lazy. Okay? <clears throat> So, overlook me. I'm probably not going to be looking at the chat when we go into this because, like I said, it's a lot. Oscar just had to go outside and pee. I see the members. You just don't have to do this. Do not let me repeat. Do not send me memberships. Don't do that. Don't. Please don't. Please don't because I do not want to give these motherfuckers ammunition to be able to sit there and say... That I exploited the death of her children's dad to make money. That is the one thing that I am extremely mad about. And I mean mad enough to prove to some people that I am a big bitch that likes to fight. Fuck around and find out, okay? Let me breathe and let me light a cigarette, okay? But you do not let me make myself clear to Yabba and Sam. I do not want you guys to send me memberships. Do not join. I cannot control who is in my chat. I cannot control who is sending me memberships. I cannot control that all right because what they expected me to do today chat is come on here today and monetize this so they could say nah, nah, she's 
Y'all, Chad, it's always best to let people think that you're a dumb, inbred, ignorant hillbilly. And then prove them that you're not. I'm five steps ahead of you motherfuckers. Okay? Yeah, I've been saying. Okay, yeah. Alright. So, let me, uh, light this cigarette. Uh, and literally, I'm gonna get this off my chest too. The, uh, whole super chat situation. Y'all know what fucking happened with that. Let's be honest. Um, I didn't know how to turn it off. Um, any YouTuber will tell you, including those two retards. I'm sorry. Including Yabin. Sam will tell you it's a whole process to turn that off. Maybe. I mean, I'm sure they've never done it, but... A little shade. I can help it. Well, okay. But, uh, I'm gonna quit that. We're gonna have class over here. Okay? Alright, we're gonna be classy and trashy. Alrighty. So, uh... What happened with that was, and I am not making an excuse, it was a huge mistake on my part. I simply forgot to send them the money. And it's literally like 50 bucks. Maybe. Maybe. We can do the math because we will. Uh, I came up with a number with everything, including the money that was specifically meant for me. Minus the 30% that YouTube takes. Minus the 15.3% for self-employment. Because YouTube is self-employment. And I am going to be a petty motherfucker. Okay? It was $97.78. That includes memberships. Because you cannot turn that off. On both streams. 30 or 50. I'd have to go through. Somebody go through. If you want the exact number. It's 97.78. If you want to go through, I'm too lazy. I didn't have time. I'm trying to get all this shit together. I worked last night. I didn't wake up till four something this evening because J-O-B, right? And uh, it's 97.78. If somebody wants to go through that, I think it's on Kiwi Farms, but I couldn't find it and take away. You could take away memberships, which that was, hold on, on that other stream that I got was 22, 23. I mean, we can be this. We can be petty if you want to make it about the money. But I think we're going to we're gonna really get down to the nitty-gritty and prove that this is not about the money, y'all. It's not about the money. It's never been about the money. Has it, Sam? <clears throat> uh, YouTube takes uh, 30%. So we had a total amount uh, in that. And I can show you. Hold on. We'll just go ahead and knock this out of the damn way real quick because that seems to be the problem. And uh, I want to remind some people that I never said, "Oh, you're you're salty, Sam." But let me let me let me uh, uh what about that guy? What about that? Not go fund me, but fundraiser I did. You will never see not one fucking receipt of me doing that. Absolutely not. I never did that. And they're expecting me to control. What other people say, chat. Do you believe Kiwi Farms? I'm controlling Kiwi Farms. Which they are getting their ass shredded on Kiwi Farms. Rightly so. Okay. Uh, and, well, whatever. Let me show you. Hold on, damn. We're here with the receipts, honey, today. Um, and we got a lot of them to get through, so bear with me. All right. So here's the two streams that we did. They also lied and said that I got AdSense off of this and I kept it. No, ma'am. Absolutely not. So you go take a look at that. So there's your receipts. That's the first one we did. Yeah, but yeah, she didn't know that I was doing it. And I'm going to, you know, so it's 120. What does that say? 120, 45 plus 22, 23. So that's what I was saying. That 22, 23 on the second one is memberships. That people join. Technically, I don't have to fucking, uh, you know, fucking count that. But we will. Because, you know, it's important. It's it's very important that we add this $22.23 on there. Whatever. So, that comes up to be uh, $164.91. I wrote it down, bitches. I took notes. Okay, I did. <clears throat> $164.91 minus the 30% that YouTube takes okay because I am 
ghetto, huh? Bitch, I'm poor, okay? I've never, have I ever come on here and acted like I got a lot of damn money? Bitch, I am poor as fuck. It is what it fucking is. I don't pretend to be somebody that I'm not. And I never fucking will. Can't relate to some people. I know. 142.68. Right. Okay. Uh, and then 142.68. Oh, so I'm up a little bit. I added it wrong. I added the 22.23 to the 142.68 and came up with 164.91. Well, shit, it's even like <laughs> See, this is why I don't do math. And this is why I was dreading sitting down doing it. Okay? Damn. So, I guess 142.68. Hold on. 142.68. Yeah, it's important. Yeah, it's important. It's important that we take care of this. Right. Right now. Right now. <laughs> Uh, what is it? 142.68. Damn it, where's my damn calculator? Hold on. Can somebody do the damn math for me? Jesus. It's, this is why. See, I'm not good. The math is not my strong point. Okay. 142.68. Oh, this fucking keyboard. Times, damn, my, what in the hell? I hate this. 4280 is 30% of the total. Okay, 4280. Because it's important that we do this. Okay? Fine. Right. So 4280, what, 100 bucks after that? If I'm rounding up, 99,876, right? Okay. <laughs> Self employment is, uh, because we're going to take that out, and that's also very important. What is the rate? I think it's 15.3%. Because YouTube is self-employment. Is that not right? Yes, it's right. 15.3%. So let's do the 15.3%. Yeah, we're going to do the... We're going to be this petty. We'll do 100. Yeah, minus... So 85 bucks. Right. Now, if you take that 85 bucks... I know it's not accounting, but it has to be. All right? <laughs> because, you know, it's important. It's important. That we, that we get this, right? Because I'm going to tell you, you know what happened? I forgot. I forgot. There are member streams. There are uh, live streams of me saying, oh, shit, I need to get them that money. I'd fucking log off, go to bed, and I would fucking forget. Because I literally was in my head when I was doing that stream, I thought, okay. And I was trying to keep a tally of it, and I was like, okay, 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 okay. So it's like 100 bucks. Because, bitch, I'm, I'm a penny pincher, honey. I'm a penny pincher, right? Anyway, so 8470. Get out your notebooks. Now, don't say that over here because I don't want to be accused of copying somebody. So, get your calculators out. All right. So, what the hell would we say? 80 uh, something. So, if you took away what people intended for me, I don't know exactly how much that was. It's literally like $50. I think. We'll round up. We'll round down here. We'll just do the even hundred. Uh, because, you know, and we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll send it over there to them again. I'll have to wait till a YouTube payday tomorrow because bitch be poor over here, you know. Uh, but I might send it to them tonight. I don't fucking know. But apparently the whole deal is, is I stole money. That's how it is. Okay. So, I'm not... Was that wrong on my part? Absolutely. That I forgot to send that to them. Uh, and for that, I'll say I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. I'm also sorry I ever knew certain people as well. But I'm sorry that I did not get that money there with a quickness on November Twenty first. I'm so sorry. I did not do that. I I've got some. I got a few things going on in my life too. If you know, you know. Uh, that like we all do. We all have shit going on, do we not? I did not think that this was that important. 
Hold on, I gotta get my dog. Put some Oscars in the chat. All right. So, let me see. So, now that we got the math out of the way. Let's see. I got me some notes. Hold on. you has got to bear with me. Okay? <laughs> you just got to bear with me. Because. This is a lot. Again, I'm telling this from my perspective. Um, because that's the only perspective I have. Um, I don't know how else to explain it. So, um, so last, was it last Saturday? You know, I did the, uh, stream, uh, with, uh, Zeth and Casey. That was not planned. I have those receipts too. Uh, whatever. Okay. The initial, uh, stream Saturday was going to be me covering the comments that they left under my videos. We've got those receipts as well. Uh, I hail. What the hell? Damn it. I swear to God, I can't do nothing. Can you say that? Um, these are on old videos. You can go look. It's one of them's Oopsie Doopsie DC. Uh, Hold on, I can't fucking move it. Shit. What the hell? I told you this is going to be a whole damn mess, okay? It's going to be a whole ass fucking mess. I'm just kidding. All right, here we go. So this is Casey and this is Zeth. His name is Zeth. Uh... And they're probably in the chat, by the way. Um, and thanks again, guys. And I have apologized. I've had to go and apologize to these people that they've got drug right in the middle of this bullshit. Uh, and being called degenerates and uh, things like that. So, I, the, whatever. The initial uh, stream Saturday, because everybody had talked about uh, Zeth's uh, groundbreaking interview that he had did with Sam toddler and so I thought you know I'm not going to reach out to people and I, I feel like I feel like it's important for me to say this you can go watch a stream that I did this stream right here that they're commenting on I don't know if it's just me being petty Oscar Bartholomew, shut the hell up. <laughs> I streamed. Y'all know when Sam got up the next day, he said, well, Yabba. Yabba was nudging me to contact them. So I did it at like 5.30. Do you know why? And you can go watch the damn stream. Um, I streamed the night before. Go watch it. If somebody could get that. It, it's called it's called announcing the giveaway and uh something about negs and announcing the giveaway that we did. And I said in that stream as a joke. Hey, maybe somebody ought to contact him on Facebook. <laughs> the next morning. I sure the hell did, Chicklets. It's there. So, he just came back from party and Danny. He's wanting a damn treat. He's so fat. So, this is how I'm seeing it from my perspective. I said that as a joke. The next morning, she's up at 5.30. She's got her a show going on. Groundbreaking. One of a kind. Sam exclusive. Correct? Right. So, whatever. She reaches out to him at 5.30. The next morning. Okay. 
within, if you go look at her stream, within her first message, she is asking him to come on panel. And he declined. She asked him again, come on panel, declined. I think there's like a total of three or four times she asked him to come on panel. Declined. Do you want to know why he declined, Sam? Do you want to know why? Because his girlfriend, Casey, smelt your evil ass from a mile away. Because he was going to go on panel with you. And Casey praised God for her. Casey said, uh uh. This motherfucker's got some ill intentions. They smelt your bullshit. Alright. Sure the hell did. So they go over there. You Casey, correct me if I'm wrong, honey. I see you in the chat, darling. Hello, by the way. Uh so they're like, hey, YouTube. Okay. Hmm, whatever. Oscar. Shut the hell up. So they go, uh to looking. And they go through, and this is how it fucking happened, according to what I understand. So, they go to YouTube and it's like, I don't see him. Okay, so we ain't gonna fuck with her because, ooh, because Casey is a damn street, y'all, okay? Girl, me and her talked a little bit, and I really like Casey. Mind your damn business, okay? I like Zeth, too, but Casey's, I like her. She seems like good people, but, uh, you know, and people are struggling, all right? She don't, she'll fucking tell you that her damn self. Hell, I am, too, we all are. And uh, so they go on YouTube and they start looking. And they come across me. And this is the uh, comments they started leaving. Right? Well, I didn't see them until right, right before Saturday when I go to uh, fucking schedule my stream or whatever. And I thought, everybody's already covered Sam's groundbreaking interview. One of a kind. And I thought, well, hell, I'll just talk about the comments and stuff. So... Then I got to thinking, because Saturday, I think I did a members-only stream, and we'd been talking, uh, and I was like, thinking, you know, maybe because Pegs was over there, he's raising all kinds of hell, these people live close to him, okay? And I thought, fuck it, I'm gonna go IRL, okay, and I'm gonna reach out to them, and ask them if it's okay if I simply share the comments For my videos. And that's how it started. Y'all want to see those receipts? Huh? Do you? Because we got those two. Hmm. Fucking, fucking dumbasses. Absolute trash. Uh, so here is uh, me and Casey. And be sure to peep those dates on those. The one on the right is me and Casey on Facebook. No, I'm not going to show our entire conversation because it ain't none of your goddamn business. What I will say is this, is that I did say, hey, come on here and make some money off of Ron's back. Ron and DC will be mad, but in the back of my motherfucking head, you know what I was thinking, and I'm going to be honest with you, and I may have said it in that stream. I don't know. I said, Sam Tiffler. Miss Predictable over there is going to be fucking mad as hell because she asked him several times to come on stream and he politely declined. Didn't you, Zeb? Didn't you, Casey? Right, okay. So you can see that this is December 15th at 11.52 a.m. This is the first time I had ever talked to them. I had a play to go to that night. I get up here. I fucking do this. I send it to them. You can see they did not respond to me until 9.06 p.m. Over here, 8.49. My stream was set to go live at 10 p.m. The timeline stands true today. Right. I'm going to tell you something. The motherfucking truth will stand when the world is on fire. Okay? That's just how it fucking is. Alright. Get rid of her old world. I don't want that fucking bitch in here. Get him out. Block. Done. I'm not fucking doing that. 
So do we need to leave these up here for an extended amount of time? So the fuckers in the back can see that we're insinuating that I'd reached out, you know, trying to cut throat. <laughs> Who did the cut throat? Who mentioned it live? Go watch the stream. Who mentioned it live? And Yabba has admittedly what said that she watched me or listens to my streams while, you know, Miss Di Diabetes over there is in the bed with a broke back. Okay, whatever. We're not going to bash them because I can do that. They think I can't, but I can't. With my fucking eyes closed, half asleep, whatever. Even if Sam and Yabba want to show up in the chat, y'all are not blocked, you can come in here and do it. If I want to, can you uh, refute this? Any hootie, whatever, take your screenshots, do all that, blah, 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 blah. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I'm not going to drag them, fuck them. I mean, I can, if they want me to. I guess she'll call my dad. Probably run my credit. Listen here, you might run my credit. I'm going to tell you one damn thing. Run my credit. You're going to find out I'm a bad, I got bad credit, but bitch, I got a good heart. And I know you cannot relate to that. Okay. I also do not have a criminal record. Call my kids. They'll tell you to go fuck yourself. Call your daddy. Call my daddy. Call my mama. They will tell you to eat shit and suck a dick and die. Okay. That's what's going to happen. Call the ex-husband. <laughs> I, I hope you do call that, okay? My damn credit is in the negative, bitch, okay? Because it is very fucking obvious that I can't remember to pay shit. All right. Bad credit with a good heart. Merch idea. Fuck off. Any hootie, put that on a sticker and suck it, bitches. Any hootie, whatever. <laughs> All right, so... Casey, Zeth, and I, we talk, and I was told, uh, I said, hey, you know, uh, we're not, I'm not going to share our receipts of our whole conversation because I'm not in that type of person. I mean, I can. I mean, with their permission, I would. I don't care. I haven't said anything to anybody that I wouldn't say to their face on a member stream, in DMs, anywhere. All right, let's make that clear. Real fucking clear, okay? Uh, so, but anyway, and I told them in the, in the thing, they'll tell you. So they didn't even know how to fucking have cash app. Now, I'm going to make this clear as well. Somebody said, yeah, like Belinda is cozying up with Zeth and Casey, the degenerate losers that I begged and begged and begged begged and begged for an interview like 17 times and even those degenerates smelled that I was an evil, lying, manipulative cunt from 30 miles away. <laughs> I forgot where the hell I was at. But I told him, hell honey, they didn't even know. Oh yeah, they keep saying they've been friends for 22 years, with like 30 years, with like Ronald P. Carbon. Can't relate. Even though she begged him like 40 fucking times to come on stream. They were willing to come up on stream with me within minutes. Casey's right here. She'll tell you. Within minutes. Okay. They were actually sitting there waiting on my stream to show their receipts and their comments with their notebooks ready. They were ready to tell their story. Just not with you. <laughs> you all know. And like that. So, they're in the interview. So, we do the interview and we find out a lot of things. It's a good fucking interview. Okay, pat on my back. It wasn't like Facebook Messenger receipts where I read it like this. Wah, wah. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 ground breaking. Sam, the, I always get what I want. Toddler. No, it's not that groundbreaking. However, it was a fantastic fucking interview. And we found out all kinds of fucking stuff. Right? I thought, hell yeah. Didn't think nothing about it. I thought she'll probably be mad. But whatever, she'll still cover it. Hell, everybody cover it. You're welcome. Where's my soundboard? We're missing out. I thought. You're welcome, motherfucker. I fucking go to bed. 
uh, let me, I feel like I do need to clarify this. They're like, yeah, they've been friends for like 30 years and like they know everything about each other and like Zeth knows that Ronald T. Corbin is a total trash bag. Yeah, no. They knew each other. Uh, from what I can understand, uh, Zeth was 16. Ronald P. Corbin uh, was 26. Gave him his first uh, little taste of uh, druggy poos and methamphetamines. And that's fine. You know what I mean? It's all, I mean, you can look at that however, but I see that as Zeth being the victim here, in my opinion. And, and you know. But the only victims that can be in the fat girl world is Sam and Yaba. Right, right. Can I talk slower for you, Sal? Mantha, should I slow it down for you, Sal Mantha? <laughs> so. They hung out. She's trying to... What she's trying to do... I know what she's trying to do. She's trying to manipulate you fellas in the sand. Oh, Belinda's just hanging out with trash. Belinda's out here ripping people off. Belinda's out here doing this. Belinda... No, that's not the case. So, they hung out. He was a kid. 16-year-old. I don't know if you are aware of this or not, Sam, but 16 is a child. Okay? All right. Uh, he was taken advantage of by an older man. In my opinion. He hung out with him from like probably I would guess that's just me guessing. Correct me if I'm wrong, Casey. From like he from the time he was sixteen, maybe to what he's twenty or something like that. It is a small town. And when somebody says, "Yeah, I know him for like thirty years," you know what they mean. She knows what he means. I know the local meth head out the road out here for fifty years almost. Okay. That don't mean we're hanging out on a daily basis. I know motherfuckers for 50 fucking years that we used to hang out with all the damn time back in the day. And I say, yeah, I know him for 50 years. But today, he's a current shit ball in prison for slitting fellers' throats. That don't mean we're on bestie terms. You feel me? Okay. Uh, but anyway, so we do the interview. I gotta go get my damn dog a treat, but we're gonna play Sam's video. Uh, let's see, how should we do this? So we do the interview. I go to bed thinking, you're welcome, motherfuckers. Everybody going to enjoy this? I know some will be salty because I knew, because it's predictable. Whatever. We, we have a track record. And I knew she really, 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 really wanted to get him on panel. But he was not going to do it. And he told me he wouldn't want to fucking do it. So, whatever. Uh. So, the next, I go to bed. I get up the next day of morning. Because after that interview, I didn't get to do our giveaway thing, right? I said, hey, guys, I'll do the random comment picker. I couldn't find one that works because, you know, stupid over here. I said, we'll, uh, we'll do it in the morning. I scheduled that. I think it's like 9 a.m. Again, this is from my perspective, right? I get up. I'm not really on YouTube. I'm scheduling my damn live stream and trying to figure a damn comment picker that will fucking work because that's how I chose the people that won the fucking giveaway. Okay, that video is still up as well. It's called Giveaway. Okay, from Sunday. Well, lo and behold, I didn't know it, but Sam was live at the same time. <laughs> you can go over there and watch that video, the giveaway one. I literally find out that Sam is being salty while live. Could a moderator link that, please? Thank you. All right. You can go watch it. Uh, my moderators, and I'm going to say this. The fucking bullshit that some of you are saying about Steph and Little Boots and this and that and the other, you need to fucking stop. Okay? Just saying. You need to fucking stop it. You need to fucking stop it. Okay? All right. Because Steph, all my moderators, good people, and they look out for me and the other people that they moderate for without pay. Steph is a motherfucking gem. Here you go, Steph. It's just for you, baby. Steph, you're a attention-seeking whore. Sarah has some shit to say about me too. 
Bitch, fuck both of you. God love Bridget. Buddy, I tell you what, she's eating it up. <laughs> I got a nickname. Listen, I do have to this real quick. Listen here. I got a new nickname for Slow Mama over there. Okay? Yo Mama. And I think I was the one that gave him the nickname Slow Mama, but whatever. Who steals? Whatever. Yo Mama's new name is Bridget's Next Court Date. So there's that. Alright. So I'm doing my giveaway. Minding my own damn business. Okay? You can't stand <laughs> Slow Mama. You can't stand Bridget's Next Court Date. He can be funny. Thank God I'm free and I can go over in his chat now because holy shit, you know, because I didn't want to be, you know, canceled and everything else. Threw him chored up me straight, but I had to go over and turn it off to where I couldn't get a gifted membership or nothing. You know what? Fuck all you. Fuck the hell, yuns. I'm going to go where I want when I want. It is a brand new year. All right? 2024, bitches. Anywho. Uh, let's see. So... I'm looking at my notes. Bear with me. Okay. Uh, so I'm in that stream and I find out, you know, they come in there. I don't think it really said anything. I think they said, hey, she's she's mad about it. Even though I expected it, I was still kind of really fucking confused. I've been so confused. <laughs> I have, like, what? <laughs> that got, that happens when you get literally gaslit to hell and back. That's the whole point. So, hello, Alex. How are you doing, baby? So, uh, let me get my notes. Okay, so I go to, uh, oh, hold on. So, what should I show first? Hold on. So, I'm being told, uh, in that stream, and thank you for telling me. People are like, oh, you've been over there. Eh, no. Yeah. I appreciate you telling me. Thank you. So, I do that stream. We do the giveaway. Congratulations to the winners. Yet again, that should be going out pretty I don't know. It might be delayed. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I expected Sam to be salty, but I was hoping for a better from Yab. Yeah, yeah, Red Queen, same. Yeah, we expect it from her. So, I go to Twitter. Again, I'm telling this from my perspective. Okay, because that's the only thing I can do. I go to Twitter, and I see this. Peep the time, peep the date. This is 8.22, and one's at 8.42. I'll leave those up there for a second. Um, this is before, I'm pretty sure, it could be round about while Sam was live, or either right before. But to me... It looks like it's right before. To me. Whether that's, I don't know. Because I can't, I don't know what time uh, she fucking went live or whatever. Um, I probably should have went and got a, some kind of damn time stamp or whatever on that. But this is Jabba uh, on Twitter. <sighs> Sorry, Zeth, that you've got to um, fucking see this shit. But that's just... You know, thank God for Casey. Thank God that Casey smelt the evil radiating off of certain people from a mile away. So, whatever. Hold on. All right. So, you tell me that this is not about the interview. How is this not about it? Okay. I hadn't said a word. Hadn't said a word. I just doing my interview. Doing my giveaway. <laughs> I go to Twitter and I see this. Now keep you in mind. I'm in the back of my mind. I'm like, and they told me Sam Saudi too over there. <sighs> Honey, this, we're, this is just the beginning of the receipts of how these people act. And this is what they do. They do this stuff on Twitter, and they, and then they block you and act like it didn't happen. So what she says is, but thanks to Little Boots and Steph, 
and everybody else and all my moderators that love me and take care of me. Honey, I love yuns. My, Y'all don't know how much I love yuns, and they had better leave my moderators alone. Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, she says, and yeah, but, and again, I'm thinking, what? I'm seeing this first. Money talks, stupid fucks, especially when dealing with crackheads. It's simple, but really, please continue. I mean, that's fine, but why are we treating it like that's not what is selling for? So she's accusing me of giving them money or paying them because they were mad because I dropped their cash app. That was not their idea. Okay, that was my idea. And I can show you receipts of that as well. Because I said, and it might sound bad, but uh, I said, hey, make some money off Ron bag. All right. You know what they made? Casey, didn't you, didn't you say you made like $195 or something like that? And Casey is very, and Zeth are, have been very grateful for that because they can now buy, well, drugs. You know, that's what they'll say. But I'm just kidding. But they'll be uh, able to buy some uh, Christmas presents. Because, you know, we always say this over here. The best thing that you can do is make Ron, make money off of Ron's bag. You know what I mean? That's what I meant. Whatever. Yeah, they're not mad about the money. They're mad about the interview. But they're trying to paint it like I exploited the death of the her children's dad for money. And that's not the case. All right. So this other one over on the right says, so let me get this straight. This Z dude, like she literally mentions him. And I'm like, what in the hell? This Z dude had been friends with Ron for 30 years and now he's the victim of Ronald himself. He's a great person. Character assassination. Right off the bat. Right off the bat. And now he's a victim of Ronald himself. He's a great person. LOL. I thought he wanted the tea. I thought we just wanted tea. I guess in case let me go snatch up all the other degenerates Ronald has fell out with. Ma'am. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of people, uh, Yabba and Sam themselves, who were also, were also friends with Ronald P. Corbin. The reason, let's not forget, chat, that Ronald T. Corbin is in Girl World to begin with is a because of Yabba and Sam. Sam. Sal Mantha is a self-proclaimed friend of Ron. And I can guarantee them to you that Sal Mantha and Yaba have been on a hundred more panels with Ron than I ever was. Sal Mantha, now weren't you? Sal Mantha. <laughs> I have been on like maybe five panels with pigs, if that, and that's that's generous, okay? I'm just saying, just saying. But uh, you know, now now friends with Ron. Back to that old bullshit from motherfucking 2020, okay? Now, how the hell? I, uh, it's a, it's a lot, y'all. It's a fucking lot. The the amount of gaslighting, and they literally think, this is how I take it, they literally think that their audience is stupid. <laughs> like, what? And for those of you that are, are not on Twitter, you're probably looking at their shit going, you know, those five-hour live streams are totally not bothered. Like, Sam did a damn five-hour live stream. I swear to God, it took her five hours. To convince three people that she was right. And two of those were, were Yabba on fucking sock accounts. And the other one was Nikki P. That's just the way it is. Okay? That's the way that it motherfucking is. And you're fucking sad. And you're horrible. Should I say it slower for you? Samantha. How you like to talk down? You're literally DC. Sam. 
the way that she talked down to her audience. <sighs> now they're against original Al. I see you in the chat, Al. Hello, darling. Thank you. Uh, thank you for being here. And Al, well, from what I've seen, was trying to be like, hey, neutral here. Uh, Belinda's wrong. Day was wrong. Belinda's a grifter. Sam's a piece of shit. Whatever the hell. I don't care. I don't care. I like Al. I like to watch Al. Shut the hell up about it. I don't give a fuck. She's over there talking about me like a damn dog. Whatever. The facts is the facts. She's just saying it. You know, she's just doing what I'm doing right now and say it and showing how she sees things. All right. Yeah, Al Switzerland. All right, shit. All right, so back to business. So I'm seeing these and I'm like, the fuck? Again, didn't say no. Because I'm the type of person, I try to be the type of person that I look at things and I try, I've learned throughout my life not to be reactionary and not to act out of anger. Okay? That's took a lot of work for me. And I'm proud of that because used to back today, I'd have burnt the whole goddamn place hell, okay? And sometimes I still do. I'm going to tell my fuck you, bitch. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I shouldn't have did that, but whatever. It is what it is. All right? So, uh, so I see these tweets and I thought, okay, fuck it. Let me go over here and watch this crazy ass bitch's video and see what the hell is damn happening. Now, hold on. Let me take these off the stream. And let's go to Sam's fucking video. Where she's totally not solitary. And we're going to do it with the chat. Because I want to see. Because they're saying that people came into her chat. And were like attacking her. Whatever. I just thought of something, too. Like, this is... Like, I did that interview that night. They're aware that I did the interview. They pretty much tell on herself. But she's over here covering ATX and Sean. They were all deleted. What are you talking about, Iffy? They did delete the five-hour stream? Yeah, I probably would have, too. I damn sure deleted this one right here, though. So, anyway. I... <laughs> <laughs> Boring. So is Miss Pickles and Bright that called her out the first and they got blocked in the oh of course they got blocked. <laughs> you know, whatever. So let's take a look. So I go over here and I'm like, she spends the first twenty minutes of this video talking about ATX and Sean, but I, I just now thought about something like Sam is pretty much they knew I did the interview. And not that I'm, I'm not trying to come off as conceited, but I would, normally, most people, you just know how we are over here. We're like, holy shit, let me cover that. Fuck that. Fuck Sean and them. Let me get over here and hear about how, you know, with the not as exclusive and not as groundbreaking as sound mouth falls in her room. But let me go watch Belinda's. You know? No. Why was that, Sam? Salty. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be right, man. No, I need to make some salt shakers and put for emojis. Salty, salty Samantha. No, all right. Ever. Let me know if you're in here. Mm -hmm. According to Zeth, he wanted half. Uh, oh. Last night on Hillbilly, we found out Ron has only made three hundred dollars total in that stupid store. Okay, so they come in here. Let me back it up a little bit. Hold on. Sorry. I guess people, I want you to be able to see the chat too because my people got accused of going over there and starting shit. Like, what? We share an audience, you fucking whatever. Oh, did she take it down? Oh, I've got it downloaded. Okay. Every lesson you give. Give me a fucking break. Mm -mm -mm. Do you have the clip of when his mom called him? All right. We're going to slow it down because Sam likes things slow. Okay. Lunar flower child, sadly, no. Thank you for the super chat. I've even gone back because, like, 
I can't imagine. Because I'm telling you guys, me and Yaba were watching it together. Like, it all happened. I was in my apartment. She's she's talking about something that happened in history. She is not. I want to make this clear. She is not talking about the interview. Big Hill Billy 1K. <laughs> God, Tyler. You just made me do that. So, she's not talking about the interview. Okay. Absolutely not. We make that clear because, you know, we want to make sure uh, that we want to clarify that we are not a lying, grifting, uh, whatever the, whatever. She was at her place, so we weren't together physically, so we were on the phone while it all went down. 1K, write it down. 1K people here to, uh, I don't know, see my perspective, I guess. And I just cannot... It's probably like, let's be real, it's probably like 800 of their sock accounts, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Imagine neither one of us recording and, like, screen recording it. In which case, you would think that would be, like, in our Googles or iCloud drives or whatever. I've gone back and looked, and I can't find it. And, of course, Ron's channel got... Oh, yeah, but told Sam not to cover ATX? Really got a... Hmm, okay. Oh, I was going to tell you guys, too, and I, Capricorn, New Jersey, had said that, you know, she didn't want to be... Because I, you know, I feel like I, I need to, I, I mean, and I meant to do this and I'm sorry, but you know, there's some people over here that are moderators over here that are moderators over there. I have no problem whatsoever if you want to email me, because if you want to be on the download, it's Belinda Carroll, uh, 1975 at gmail.com. I mean, at, yeah, at yahoo.com. If you want to email me, if you don't want to make it public or whatever, and just say, hey, take my rent because you don't want no trouble. Okay. Because these people... Samantha, in particular, will block you, stalk you. You've seen how she does certain. You see, you've seen how she con she conducts business. So if you want me to remove your wrench, uh, I'll do that. And there's no hard feelings. There will absolutely be no hard feelings whatsoever over here, because we're not doing that over here. Okay. All right. I yeeted off the YouTube, so it's not there neither. Not even, like, archive channels have that stream. It's so sad, too, because that was one of the fucking best moments ever. Mm-hmm. According to Zeeth, he wanted half. Uh, All right, so who said that? By the sounds of it, Zeeth didn't know he was... So they're coming into the chat now and saying, according to ZT, he wanted half. Oh, DG's over there saying, last night on Hillbilly, we found out Ron was only made 300. So they're over there telling her. Suzanka says he wanted half, Sam, according to Zeth. Uh, so that's where they come in at. And Suzanka, I see you. You think I don't, but I do. I'm just going to say that. Whatever. There we go. Last night on Hillbilly, we found out Ron has only made $300 total in that stupid store. So keep in mind, before we do this, I think it's important that we go back. I have just seen these. Okay, this is going to take some time, y'all. Bear with me. I'm so sorry. I have just seen these on Twitter. Okay. All right. So then I go over here and I'm going to this video. And she was attacked by Belinda's puppets. And, you know, she also said I'm a puppet and a puppet master. So apparently I'm sitting here with elbow deep in my own ass. I don't fucking know. Whatever. Make your damn mind up, dumbass. Really? I was already in bed uh, when that live stream happens. Bullshit, 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 bullshit. You might have been in bed, but they watched it. Because she tells on herself several times. Because she knows exactly. She's like, but the cash app was dropped, so right here's your lie. Right out the gate. I haven't watched it. Like, but why were they dropping his cash app? <laughs> You're so stupid. Whatever. So I have not watched it. I Should we back it up? <clears throat> Be in bed uh, when that live stream happens. So I have not watched it. Mm -hmm. I didn't figure um, there'd be a whole lot of new information coming out that we hadn't already heard. See? 
Haven't watched it and right off the bat. Can you hear the salty? We've already covered it. So, like, there's no information. So, there's no it. Jealous. Jealous. Fucking salty. When technically, no new info. Because I had one on Facebook and his girlfriend and I tried and I asked him like 17 times if he would come on my panel because I run YouTube. I am the queen of the fat regards. <laughs> you condescending motherfucking. Ungr Shut up, Belinda. Mm -mm. Technically, and there's proof of it. I mentioned it. Is there? Well, is there any proof of it? But let's be real. We know these people, and uh, we know enough to know that you know. I said it, and yeah, but was probably like, hey, hey, yeah, 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 babes, 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 just like Ron and DC, you know, babes, babes, babes. Belinda just said that she's gonna get that. She's gonna contact uh, Zeth and Casey, babes, babes. Get the exclusive, babes. You know, they're poking each other in the bed. You know what I mean? Like, poke, poke. Fucking milk spewing everywhere. Indiana's the milkiest fucking state, okay? I'm sorry. Okay, if you're from Indiana, but goddamn, okay? Like, babes, 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 babes. Sam's laying there in a diabetic coma like, what? Well, my back's hurting, okay? I'll do it in the morning. She gets up at 5.30 in the morning. Why else would she do it on that day? And you know what I did? I was like, oh, shit. Sam messaged him, let me go over here and watch. I was excited. I was like, I didn't think another damn thing about it. I truly didn't. Uh, now I am. Now I am. After all this, I was like, what? what? She literally, she technically, she stole my interview. <laughs> she couldn't even do that. And you couldn't even do that watch. You couldn't, could you? Samantha. You tried to undercut me and go over there and steal my interview. Technically, my idea. You tried to do that and you couldn't even do that right. But you're such a professional. <laughs> Whatever. So that's interesting. All right, listen for the salty, y'all. Listen for the salty. Interesting. Even on the farms, everyone was mad that it was being talked about and no one archived it. I know. Well, see, and that's the thing is Ron's... Um, Kiwi Farm, he had a Kiwi Farms thread during that time around the November 2020. Yeah, he's got a Kiwi Farm thread, by the way. Uh, Sam's been mad a long time at Kiwi Farms, and I feel like I do need to say this. Sam's been salty for quite some time, for a few weeks, actually, which is probably when she took my wrench because, you know, I did ask them, I reached out like Friday or Saturday, whatever the hell, and said, hey, because I just fucking noticed my fucking wrench was gone and somebody else had to tell me. Because I give zero shits. <laughs> so I was like, hey, like, what the hell? Whatever, you know, because I literally have Yabba's phone number, but apparently I shouldn't ask Yabba, I should ask Sam, like Samantha. <laughs> you are one another same, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, you can post for link. Well, I don't think you can, Nikki, but yeah. So I think Sam got mad because, you know, she went and. That hog guy, right, that went down to Ronald and Hank Harmon's store. I was in that stream when that happened. And I guess I fell victim to, not victim, hell, I'm grown. I was there like, ur, 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 even dropping that guy's link or whatever. Because I was a moderator at the time. And uh, she sent him to, uh, well, she didn't send him. He allegedly came into the chat, which is questionable. Okay. Uh. Y'all know. Went down to the damn store. After that stream, I've told several people, I think maybe on a on a public live stream or on a member stream, that I felt like, after I got thinking about it, I felt like I needed to take a fucking shower. <laughs> I don't care. How bad you hate Ron or Negs, I literally feel like 
I needed to take a shower. It was so weird. And if you go back and look at that and the way that she acted, looking at it now from a different perspective, over with a feed bag of Doritos on, and getting all like giddy, it's weird. It's fucking weird. And I was like, how would that feel if, if that were me? Like, say whatever. Have some fucking, uh, what's it called? They wouldn't like it. Just saying. But, uh, uh, she did also, I don't care what she says. I've downloaded that stream as well. Uh, also to offer to pay that guy. Literally to pay him. Y'all know. To go back down there for a photography session. She did. Sure the fuck did. I guess that's why she needed that money so bad for me. You know, because they're hard up. But there she's going to sling money down there for him to go get a damn. She told Hog to leave her chat. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, I bet she did. Okay, yeah. And see what happened was when she did that and we all kind of took a look back. Now, I don't control Kiwi Farms. I know a lot of the other... People think I do, but I don't, okay? I fucking don't control what people say on Kiwi Farms. Nor Twitter. Oh, yeah, that was a joke. Yeah, of course it was afterwards. You think for one fucking second that if he said, yeah, I'll go down there. That motherfucker, she probably... Ten full hat time, okay? And I think I've said this and discussed this with other people. That was shady as fuck. You think some random guy from Indiana just pops up in some motherfucker's chat and was like, hey, just when she's live. And when she, you go back and watch that. Now, go back and watch it. When we're done here, you go back and watch that stream in particular. She's very giddy. She's on time, honey. She is ready. Okay? Ready. She blocked him. Yeah, because she's done with him. All right. So she did that. Well, she started getting a little bit of pushback from Kiwi Farms, which I control 100%. <laughs> whatever so then she goes on her stream and made the worst mistake that you could ever make in your entire life when dealing with kiwi farms and that's to go live and talk about how you're unbothered by kiwi farms hello idiot Uh-uh. Absolutely not. But there she went. There she went. And I guess because I didn't go on Twitter and make a announcement to my puppets. Hey, Kiwi Farms, leave Samantha alone because like she does exclusive one of a kind uh content could you like leave her alone like really she's gonna call you Arby's <laughs> bitch the fuck is wrong with you so I think her anger at the farms transferred over a little bit to me because if you see here in my chat today especially strawberry douche okay me and strawberry douche are friends go fuck yourself okay fuck right on off you know strawberry douche pink lava who else in here is a farmer now you can put a chat you can put a one in the chat if you want to or in my chat i know that however samantha had Kiwi Farmers as her moderators as well. But when they started talking shit about her on Kiwi Farms, I can guarantee you she took those fucking wrenches away. And while she was at it, she took mine too. Is that how that happened, Samantha? It wasn't over no money. It wasn't over the money, the little 50 bucks that I forgot to send you because I want to stay. And they're aware of this too. My husband... My husband was in ICU, and I was not fucking sure whether he was going to live or die. Samantha. Okay? I did not know whether he was going to live or die. And you know what I had to do, Samantha? I had to continue going 
to work because a lady had just quit and we had hired somebody else. And guess who had to train her? Most of my shifts were 14 and 16 hours long. I drive one hour one way and one hour back. I barely had time to wipe my mother fucking ass. But you want to sit there on your stupid fucking live stream and accuse me. Me. Of exploiting Yabba's children's tragedy for money. The fucking audacity. The fucking audacity of you. You know good. God, sorry. I did not know if my husband was even going to live, dude. And you know, I have proof of this. I am not just saying this, and I am not sitting here, and I did not want to do this. I did not want to even talk about this publicly. But here we fucking are. My husband is in a wheelchair. Do you hear what I'm telling you? My young husband is in a wheelchair. After I did this stream for these motherfuckers, which was my idea, I admit that, and that was a huge mistake. And if I overstepped a boundary, I am sorry for doing that. I'll apologize for that, but in my heart, and I swear... I meant to have good intentions with that. I never meant. I never meant to overwhelm them. I never meant to do that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get emotional. I thought these people were my friends and I wanted to help a fucking friend. Now they're gonna make fun of this, but whatever. This is how I fucking feel about this. It's a lot. So I'm sorry I didn't remember your fucking hundred bucks or whatever. I'm fucking sorry. Okay? God damn. It wasn't long after that stream and I have witnesses here that I had no idea how I was going to buy... I think it was Junior's Medicine. I think. I, I was fucking... I'm sorry for that. Okay? Samantha. <sighs> sorry. You know... Let's talk about the fundraiser, right? Because that seems to be a big problem. According to them. Here, and maybe I was wrong. In fact, I know I was wrong and I shouldn't have done it. But I did what I felt was right. It wasn't with the ill intentions. Don't be gifting memberships, y'all. They'll take that and run with that. Okay? Just, I appreciate it, but you don't have to do that. It's not about that. How can I explain? 
I guess sometimes, you know, around here when somebody passes away, um, we try to help each other. I consider it on my friends. It, yeah, but in particular, right? And I wanted to help her because I could, couldn't imagine what it would be like to be in that situation. And I felt maybe at that time in my life going through what I was going through with my husband. Um, I kind of related to it. You feel me? It's whatever. Just give me a damn headache. Whatever. I can't believe I even shed a tear over these motherfuckers. So, I mean, if that, you know, they said they were overwhelmed by orders, uh, but they didn't want to tell me. I want to ask them something, and I want to show you in some receipts, right? So we did the fundraiser, and I want to say how proud of that, of, of Yuns that I am. I'm so proud of Yuns. And please don't let these people make you think that... Your efforts are appreciated because they're appreciated over here. Okay? Very much so. I'm sorry that, uh, no, I'm going to apologize. I'm not apologizing to them. I'm apologizing to you, the people here in my chat. They can go fuck themselves. Don't you ever. Don't apologize to me. Don't even fucking try it. Yabbing, Sam. Okay? Absolutely not. I will send you the money and you can fucking fuck all the way off. Okay? All right, yeah, mm hmm And I heard Sam was actually begging for me to do a video. Is this what you wanted, Sam? Hmm? Any hoodie. Uh, I forgot what the hell I was going to say. So, uh, I'm not very well organized. Damn, anyway. Oh. So, they said that they were overwhelmed. Uh, you know, they felt I made them feel uncomfortable. But they didn't want to tell me. Do they seem like two people that wouldn't tell you? I'm, I'm asking an honest question. You know... I thought it was a kind gesture in a in a community that is literal goddamn fucking trash. Okay, that's all it was. We were happy and we did good things over here, and I'm very proud of you guys so much. Don't ever fucking make them let them make you think that you overwhelmed them. That's guilt tripping, and we're not here for that. Okay, because that's what they're doing. Manipulation and guilt tripping and gaslighting. And that's all they got. Don't let them do that. Do not be asking for... I've heard... I've seen people saying, ask for a refund. No. Don't ask for a refund. Let them shove it right up their ass. Okay? Yeah, they happily accepted the money. Which was the point. I wanted... You know, I didn't want her to have to worry about fucking YouTube. Or, or anything like that. And I was actually told, I think either told or I saw a message once. They said that they were overwhelmed. Now they're saying they're overwhelmed. Uh, I was told, or I, I, I'd have to go through the messages and look, that it was actually a blessing. Because it took their mind off of it. Do you hear that? During the time. Give them something to do. Took their mind off of it. The first stream I did, I didn't have the super chats turned off. I didn't fucking know. If you're a uh, a YouTuber, just turn off monetization. It's a whole thing, okay? They wouldn't know because that's never gonna happen with them. They're never gonna do that because you know it's all about the all about the Benjamins, right? Samantha. Yeah. Uh. So I didn't turn that off, uh, and that's how those things happened. I, I was, you know, whatever. Yeah, Amber, I heard that or uh, was told that or something. It's in my mind, too. I was like, what? So to hear this shit now, I'm like, huh? 
I'm so fucking confused, I still ain't. Which is the point of gaslighting people. And that's what they do. Uh, so, just want to finish listening to Sam being salty. I want to, you know, she says she wasn't. But let's do this while I, while I gather myself, okay? <laughs> but it was not active. His thread was dead for a year. And it went dead. And it was literally like almost a year to the day. It went dead in October of 2020. And it was there was nothing for a year. And then they fired it back up like October of 2021. Yes, the farmers were supporting Ron at that time. Mm -hmm. And that's literally, you can go look on the farms now. You can go back. I had it noted at one time what page it was. But yeah, um, there's literally no post for a year. When Ron was there, when Ron was there, was their cute stoner boy, you know, and they were ass patting him and patting him on the head and shaming Yaba and trying to make her out to be a villain and Ron be the victim. The phone call is talked about on there. Mm, I just can't believe it. You went back to the farms. It was on the Hater Nation thread. It was being talked about. Nikki P. Yeah, but is that clip on there? You know what? I don't think I ever even thought to look at the Hater thread to see if that clip was on there. Uh, DG, thank you so much. Her coffee is amazing. I'll never be able to go back. Yeah, you should have heard her at the breakfast table this morning drinking it. She's going on and on. I was like, this is, this is real deal fancy shit. Mm -hmm. Anyway, go ahead, Ron. I didn't, just so you know, it wasn't me. Yeah, me too. I didn't, because I had other stuff to do. Dude, our store. Well, where does she start talking about that? People not archiving properly. That's so funny. On YouTube. It's wild. It's wild. Um, it hasn't resulted in any business because the people who shop there don't watch this garbage and don't give a fuck. Oh, I'm in contact with Oh, now that was illegal. <laughs> yeah, that poor, this poor man. He wants something to be. Jesse was around the corner, and that was clearly already his plan to do that. We didn't. Whatever. I can't. You know, I've had to listen to her voice so much lately. <sighs> Fucking about makes me want to barf. Tell us about Zeth. That Zeth. Oh, here we go. Okay. So tell me again. We're gonna go back. I know. I'm. I'm kind of. I tried to get this organized, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> <clears throat> so you've you seen the tweets from Yabba. I'm seeing this again. It's from my perspective. Let's get back to task here. Uh, this is from my perspective. I see this. I'm like, what the hell? What the fuck are you doing? Okay. And then, so I'm like, they said, well, she's salty over there on her stream or whatever. <sighs> Sorry. I still ain't got my shit, my shit together. Uh, and I go over here and watch this, and I think I've seen a timestamp maybe, or I fast forward that she started talking about it, and you can hear... The literal, she says, I, I wasn't mad. I wasn't salty. You can hear it in the tone of her voice. She cannot hide that tone, okay? No, Sam's not for it, Kendall. He says, very well aware uh, that Ron is a degenerate piece of shit and that he's a degenerate piece of shit on the internet and that he needs to get ahead of that when making the rounds over here. So she didn't watch it, but she's already starting with this narrative that Z is a piece of shit, but you didn't watch it. Right. You didn't watch it, but Z is a piece of shit, like they're already setting that tone. You see what I'm saying? Like he is a total, and he's a degenerate, even though I just talked to him like three days ago, and like I begged him to come on my stream like three times, and he said no, because his woman was like, fuck that bitch, Okay. That's what happened. And they literally, seriously told me behind the scenes when we were getting ready to uh, do the stream. And I was like, hey, you know, we kind of like your accent, okay? And you're just down to earth and you're cool. So we chose you. And it's as simple as that. Samantha. Uh, on the internet. Um, Ms. Peckle says, come on. Now, come on, Sam. You were acting all buddy buddy when he was talking uh -huh. on Facebook. Is it? Thank you, Miss Pickles over there, giving them the damn what for. Thank you. Holy shit. There's Jabba. Pickles, you is funny. They are on the defense right off the damn bat. Listen at them, how damn. And Jabba in the chat. See, a lot of people don't see that. She starts agging it on. They are already pissed at me. Okay? And I'm not even over there. I'm over here doing a damn giveaway. Not knowing what in the hell is going on, okay? Because Belinda had a stream with him. First of all, Miss Pickles, um, I mean, how should I have approached this man in his Facebook DMs? He doesn't know me from anyone on the internet. And I want him to open up to me, feel comfortable talking. Uh, lion eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> Fuck around, find out. You'll be going getting your own goddamn shit. It's the only thing I'm going to say. Whatever. To me, tell me literally everything and not hold back anything. Why on earth would I not speak to him in that manner and quickly develop a rapport with him? Mm. Um, mm. I mean, it's interesting that you see it. And you failed. <laughs> you failed. Where's this thing? Have I got failed on here still? Music career failed. Wrestling promoter, whatever the fuck he was doing, failed. Get that way, Miss Pickles, or that you would even um, make, you know, make that sort of suggestion. That's interesting. I'm not really sure where you correlate. Is it because Belinda? Oh, hold on. Belinda had a stream with him. I mean, Belinda can do whatever Belinda wants to do with <laughs> I'm glad we progressed, okay? Because this is funny as shit. Listen. Listen to this. Really? Is it because Belinda had a stream with him? I mean, Belinda can do whatever Belinda wants to do with whomever she wants to do it with. And this is why everybody's like, you salty! Okay? You are salty as fuck. Of the interview that you stole. You stole my interview because it was my I'm down. Let me slow it down. Let's Copy this from Yabba because she's invented slowing down videos. Okay. That's interesting. I'm not really sure where you correlate. Is it because Belinda had a stream with him? I mean, Belinda can do whatever Belinda wants to do with whomever. <laughs> Oh, Lord. You know what it comes down to. You you just got to laugh at these dumb people. I can't. She wants to do it with. Has absolutely no effect on me over here. <clears throat> Has no effect on you over there. Brandon the Possum King self-admitted friend with a town lunatic. Exactly. Thank you. Brandon the Possum King over there. Yakin. I'm just kidding. Brandon the Possum King, you're welcome over here anytime, honey. You might just have to go make you another account, though, where they can't see you. And then come over here. I'm just saying. Because you know. Thank you so much for the cash app. Thank you for the cash app. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I, I'm mocking Sam. I didn't get no cash apps. Mind your name business. <laughs> yeah, I would say yes. We're very jealous of Linda's dream. There, it's out there. We will never recover. See, they're very jealous. We will never recover. Like very condescending, very. So I'm saying this, and I'm like, damn, they really, they honestly, I was hoping and pr I assumed and back in my house, like she gonna be mad about this. She gonna be mad about this. She gonna be fucking mad as hell. And I was hoping and praying to God that she wasn't. But I was like, well, fuck. Damned, sound if you do, and sound if you don't. Okay. That's another point I want to make, too, about this. Because she's mad. It's about the fucking interview. Okay? It's about Kiwi Farms, and it's about the interview. <laughs> when people like Sam have a problem with you, they go to looking. <laughs> you know? For things that they can use. Guarantee you, nothing was thought of that money. Probably went back through my streams and where I've have said a couple of, oh shit, I need to send them that damn money. Well, shit, I ain't got the money right now because bitch poor. Okay? It is what it fucking is. And, uh, <laughs> they thought, oh, yeah, babes, babes, babes. I'm mad at Belinda because she got in the interview and, you know, because she didn't defend me against Kiwi Farms because she, like, totally runs it. Um, so I'm going to say that she's a liar and a thief. Babes. And yeah, it's like, yeah, 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 baby, yeah, babes, 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 mm, milk flying every day more, okay? Oh, yeah, 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 tell them we're overwhelmed, too. Tell them we're overwhelmed, too, even though the candle wax melts and all that stuff is already pre-made because I show pictures of, like, hundreds and thousands of them in my motherfucking basement. Remember that? Dumb fuck. Babes, 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 babes. We're so overwhelmed with ironing a goddamn sticker on a fucking sweatshirt. <laughs> Say 
<laughs> yeah. Save me. <laughs> Clarissa, yeah, the, the the candles and the wax melts were all pre-made. Facts. Absolute facts. But anyway, whatever. All right, so let's get back to it. Lord have mercy. So she salty. Let me finish. Let me play some more of this. Let's just hear the saltiness ooze. Soos, ooze, ooze, squeal. Okay? Squeal, Samantha. Squeal for us, honey. Mm -mm -mm. You don't go into a conversation. Yeah, what am I supposed to fucking DM him and be like, hey, I know that you are uh, more than likely just as big of a piece of shit, degenerate, uh, racist, bigot of a loser as your lifelong friend, Ron. But please talk to me, answer all of my questions and tell me everything. So what is in this chat where they got attacked? I'm looking. Do you my people over there in that chat saying anything? I mean, it comes off as like, you're already, you've seen it, and you are pissed. Okay? They blocked it. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe you shouldn't block every fucking thing, Salmantha, where we could, you could say, oh, yeah, yeah, like, look, like, like right here is a uh, little boot saying, you suck, Samantha. Uh, no. Mm -mm. Whatever. Thing you know. <laughs> Pre-made by Tinkerbell's Fairy Dust. Uh, Yabba shared pictures of a whole damn shitload of wax melts uh, hanging up. I don't have the picture, but it is out there some fucking where. I'm sure I, I could probably get it. You know what I'm saying? Wax melts hanging on damn walls and everything else. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're jealous bitches, Sam. That's all it comes down to. Jealous of whom and what for why. Me, bitch. Z said he had multiple people. Yeah, he told Z told me he uh, had multiple people reach out to him. And I'm not shocked. I mean, that is to be expected. I'm quite sure Owl was in the DMs. I'm quite sure. I'm, of course, I'm sure Belinda was. I did. Oh, shit. Wrong one. Bullshit, 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 bullshit. Lest we remind you. I'm sure Belinda was. Yeah, I was. The same Saturday I talked to him. Play the hood pussy? Okay. I did dabble in um, the hood pussy for quite some time, so... <laughs> uh -huh. Now, I did make the mistake of misunderstanding Casey, I do believe. I clarified that with her last night. Uh, when she and I were talking, uh, and, and Zeth were talking behind the scenes, and in Streamlabs, you can see each other, you can talk before the stream goes live and have a little discussion, right? So we did that, make sure everything was working. We was talking back and forth and cutting up, you know, having a personality and, and a conversation like normal people do, but whatever. Uh, and Casey said... My phone is blowing up. And I made the mistake of going, you know, or, or thinking, oh, that's probably, because as soon as I changed the title to my video, she said, she happened to say that. And I automatically, I thought, is that uh, people, other people that reached out to, reached out to you? Well, she clarified, no, it wasn't. It was just people that she had told about the stream. So, uh, and sent over to the channel, I think. Casey can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's how it went down. So, uh, yeah, and, and that that was a mistake of me thinking that. Because in my mind, I was like, when this bitch right here, I'll just tell you, it's when Samantha, Samantha over there, seen that notification change, because you know they got it on, because I had it titled, uh, going over there were comments and the damn whatever. And then when I figured out we could get it to work, and that, uh, their setup was good. We were good to go and everything. This thought like 9 fucking 30, 9 45. I changed the damn title of the video. It was like, hey, they're actually coming on panel. And soon and they're on they're sitting there in the background with me. And I said, I'm gonna go change the channel or change the title, guys. What are you gonna take? And I'm working on that. And as soon as I did it, Casey's phone starts going off. Her notifications. So. And I thought, oh, fuck. 
I thought, I thought it was at Facebook going, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, this is Samantha, and you had promised me that you were going to go. You said you might do it, but are you not going to do it? Because Belinda is such trash. She is a thief and a liar and a stinking whore. She stole $35 from me and Yaba, even though we made thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. And we make probably $20,000 a month. Off YouTube, Belinda is a thief and a liar. So I figured they were trying to, you know. But I was wrong. I made a wrong assumption there. For that, I'll, I apologize for that. Whatever. All right, listen, just be, be salty some more. Let me get some more receipts here going. Hold on. I'm sure. BGTV, admit it. I'm quite sure. Pet no. Bullshit, 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 bullshit. Bullshit. Bedtime is a well-known fact. Everyone knows that Samantha goes to bed at like 6 p.m. when her sugar gets high and her back gets low. Okay. Like she goes to bed like really early. <laughs> Eddie Fam was in there. I'm sure GP was in there. Hold on, what if No, I think you were the only one. For sure. Maybe. Casey can correct me, but I think Sam might have been the only one. I think other people were contacting her. I don't know if they were creators or whatever the fuck. Hadn't really talked to her about it because it really it's none of my damn business. Um, well, whatever. Bright say, I knew you were going to be like this, Sam. Always so aggressive not and Texas. confrontational. Who am I? Is this? Okay, so somebody said, I knew you was going to be like this. Always aggressive and confrontational. So this would be where I guess they perceive this attack. I don't know. Who said it? They probably got blocked. I don't fucking know. Whatever. So I guess this is the perceived attack. Which is just an opinion of how she sounded. All right. Was I being aggressive and confrontational with whom? Sam is merely saying, remember Z was Neg's friend for a long time. Willing to out. Oh, willing oh. to put up with Neg's BS. Obviously, Sam wouldn't be a dick to him, but we ain't sucking it either. Hell no. Hell no. This is our opinions, and we're not supposed to share them because you don't like them. I Very passive aggressive. Yeah. Guys. Oh, BGTV says, I promise I wasn't. <laughs> they see there's Al saying, nope, not one time. Not one time. Where's the bitterness? I don't see it. Yeah, but says. And with whom, like, okay, we see you. We see you. We hear you. Samantha P. Calvin. Okay. We see you, Samantha P. Calvin. Okay. We see your ass. I just thought of that. So, Samantha P. Calvin. Put it in the chat. Write it down. Put it on merch. Put that on a sticker and sell that motherfucker. Whatever. Any hoodie. Um, let's see. What else do I have? Now, there are some... Hold on. Let me cover this up. Because I had... I thought I had some screenshots. Where is it? Um, because in her five-hour stream yesterday... We're not going to watch any more of this. I think you get the point. Right? Like... <laughs> Here's this stream. We're not going to watch this. <laughs> Okay, now you're welcome for that, since fuck face. Make sure you get that on. Now, I do want to bring up a point here. Uh, this is a, a stream from the other day. What is this? Five hours, 12 minutes, and 30 seconds long. You hear what I said? We're not watching it, okay? Um, where she talked about how I... Accused me of exploiting the death of their, exploiting a tragedy that they had, right, with the fundraiser and stuff. And, uh, Samantha had super chats on. Mm hmm While she sat over there and claimed to be the victim of this alleged exploitation. Do you know the definition of exploitation, Samantha? I'll wait. 
This was a bad idea. Sound like that. Oh, she'll make another stream. I hope she fucking does. She has every right to. What's she gonna do? My credit report? So she stood over here and cried victim. Said I made a, uh, exploited their children. Blah, 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 blah. With super chats on. Thanks for the super chat, but I'm so hurt that Yabba's, uh, situation that Belinda exploited it. Thanks for the super chat. Yeah, like, she exploited it, and we're really upset because she um, like, didn't send us the money. Thanks for the super chat. Um, yeah, like, we, me, Yaba and I totally would never do that. Thanks for the super chat. Yaba and I <laughs> What's the definition of exploitation? Sam. You know how much? I ain't gonna say it. Whatever. <laughs> You're the laughing stock of the fucking atmosphere, bitch. Right now. You truly are. Okay. I didn't send you $35. I didn't send you the 50 bucks. Okay, I'll, I'll give you 50 I hell, a hundred. Okay, we'll call it even. hundred bucks. I didn't, I forgot. But yet, Melinda didn't send. She exploited it like she used it to get subscribers and to grow her channel. Thanks for the super chat. Oh, thanks for joining the We Do Love Our Basic Betties. Don't you? <laughs> Bitch. Anyway. <laughs> The fucking audacity of you. You fucking dumbass bitch. She's a narcissist, honey. She's a true fucking narcissist. Jesus. Anyway. So, let me go through this. We don't have much longer. Uh, I figured about two hours. And we're, we're hitting right on that two hour mark. It would take me to get through this. Because I know other people are wanting to talk about it. And, uh... The video will be left up in its entirety, and anybody that wants to cover it can, even including Stuntman. The Calvin can cover it as well, including Yaba. Can re into the abyss on Twitter about it. Do I need to slow it down? Thanks for the super chat. Yeah, 1,000 of yuns is blocked now, honey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not saying... Also, I just want to make it clear. I'm not saying go over and unsub for them. Because, listen, over here, if they go live tomorrow, you can go over there because we're not like them. Okay? We might be trash, but, honey, we ain't garbage. They're garbage. We're trash. Get it right. You can go over there and talk about me like a damn dog, and I can sit right there and watch you. And come, you can come right back over here in my chat. And I will welcome you with open arms. Okay? Because I am well aware that this, to quote DC, is just the internet. I was the one that made the mistake of thinking these people were my friend. And I wanted to do something nice for my friends. And it's now been thrown up in my face. Right? So, now they will say that... That was thrown up to them on Twitter. That uh, my people, the people that I um, control, like Belinda's little groupies, were throwing it up in Yaba's face about the uh, fundraiser. That's not what happened. That's not what happened. Uh, I thought I had a damn a screenshot of that. Uh, I mean, I need to know. I would like to see a screenshot of me saying that. Now, you'll see pictures of probably uh, screenshots of me liking some other people being like, because people were saying, because she did, uh, not this stream, but the one where she saw the, uh, the rope of their tweeting left and right and calling Zeth a fucking all kinds of damn shit. And people were like, 
and calling me like saying that I'm sucking up to him and I'm Ron adjacent now and I'm pegs and I'm back on the white supremacy, blah, blah, blah. I fucking ripped them off. I, I mean, they're throwing shit all over the damn place. And I'm sitting there and I'm looking at it and I'm going, the fuck? The fucking hell is wrong with you motherfuckers? Jesus. She called us a cult. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they're going to say that that was started on on Twitter, I guess. I've seen some screenshots of that uh, going back and forth. I, so I thought I had them, but I don't. I know Little Beach sent them to me, but it's been a lot, y'all, trying to get all this shit together. They're out there. <laughs> and uh, show me a screenshot of me saying, you know what? I did a fundraiser for you, bitch. Or whatever the hell. Show me a screenshot of that, okay? Bitch, show it. Show it. Show it. Show the fucking screenshots. Bitch. Um, yeah, I probably went through and hoarded some. Because they will take that. Because they take everything so fucking weird. Like, they'll look through and see who hearted comments. Who's following a person. If you're following a person that said, Sam, what the fuck are you doing? Like, Belinda was trying to be nice, was nice to you, and then you over here being all salty and shit. And if you follow them, you support it. If you follow them on Twitter, believe me, in their mind, you support every word they fucking say. I'm sorry, but I don't feel that way. So, it's really fucking weird, and you need to stop. You're 50 with the betas and a bad back. Ma'am, sit down. In fact, lay down, okay? Go on somewhere. Damn crazy ass. But, uh, so they were overwhelmed with the merch. Now, I did have, there were several, uh, after I did that, uh, fundraiser stream, there were several, uh, where the hell are the, oh my God, what did I do with the, like, what did, I can't stop talking like that bitch now. Like, what did I do with my, um, <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. It's so, eh. I got the uh, folder titled, Fuck Sam Receipts. Uh, hold on. <sighs> what the hell is the damn... Oh, I got some receipts of them being extra salty over there, but there's some, uh, whatever, we don't have to show this, I got a damn video <laughs> of the, you know, they were so overwhelmed uh, by the orders and they felt very awkward. They felt that I was exploiting uh, the situation, um, different things like that, but here's Yabba. Here's Yabba when she first came back from her break and the overwhelming support that we, uh, y'all, okay? And, you know, I won't be real petty. I just thought of something. I ordered merch too. Can I take that cost of that merch away from that hundred bucks or whatever the hell amount it was? I don't remember. I had to go look at my receipts. I think I ordered a damn shirt, which Sam literally got on stream and she's like, Belinda ordered a shirt and it's like a 3X. Yeah, bitch. Because <laughs> I'm fat. Hello. So are you. <laughs> Condescending. He's like, Belinda ordered this shirt. Look how pretty it is. It's like a 3X. <laughs> okay. And whatever. So I think I'm going to take that cost away. Yeah, we could do that. Maybe. I might have ordered a candle. I don't fucking remember. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, here's Yabba when she first came back after the situation happened. I know, little boots. Me and Peanuts and 3X sisters, except I'll admit that I'm a fat bitch. Peanuts, I got fat. <laughs> I'm a size two. Bitch, shut up. Crazy bitch. And speaking of peanut, listen here, peanut was right, okay, on some things. But peanut, you still suck, okay? I love you, but you suck a dick. 
Holy crap, I missed those. Things. Anyway, here's Yabba when she comes back from the, you know, took you know, she took a break when all that happened to deal with the kids and they overwhelm me. Totally overwhelmed. Yeah, Peanut's hilarious. Peanut's one of them people. That motherfucker will make me so damn mad so fucking quick. And you know why? It's because I love her. Okay? That's as simple as that. Yeah, I love peanut beetles, okay? Shut the hell up about it. Because when it comes down to it, peanut was right about the majority of stuff, and I've been saying that a long damn time and behind the scenes. And, you know, with peanut, when her got into it, I was like, hey, don't be, don't be over attacking peanut. I mean, because kind of what she said is kind of right, and I knew that, you know? I didn't like... My problem and what hurt my feelings with the peanut situation is was her bringing our, uh, bringing that. She didn't come to me personally. She fucking made a fucking video. I didn't like how she treated Fedora, but whatever. It, but that's literally water under the bridge. I would say peanut ain't gonna come over here and be like doing these things. Like it's right here. She's just fucking peanut. And peanut, you know, you can't hate her. You can't fucking hate her. Okay, Stachio, fella. No. You do not like the peanut. Well, that's your opinion, Strawberry, but she makes me mad as hell sometimes. Bless her heart. Lord have mercy. She couldn't wait to be over. I told you. I told you. I told you so, bitch. She was on it like stank on shit. She has every right to be. But anyway, whatever. She, uh, here's, yeah, but when she comes back after being overwhelmed, like, overwhelmed, like, because that's what they're saying now, is that they're, they were so overwhelmed, but they didn't want to tell me, even though, also, I just want to say, did I ever get a text message, or a message, or a hint? Because I did two streams. After that first stream, after that was over, they admitted they were watching it because they were like, like, really? Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, I didn't tell them what I was going to do. I thought it would be a nice gesture. Shame on me, right? Whatever. Uh, did I get a text message from Lane? I would have been fine if she would have came into that or texted me while I was live. Belinda, don't do this. I'd have shut her down. Period. I'd have been like, you know, you know what I'm saying? After that first one, did I get a text message or a message being like, Belinda, hey, I don't know what's up. This is overwhelming. I can't cover these orders. We're going to do these or we're going to do something. We could have worked something out, right? No. I didn't get a message. At all. Not one. So I'll do a second stream. There's a week between. Everybody's like, oh, they're back to back. No, they were a week apart. There's a week's difference between that first stream and that second stream. Not one message. Hey, yo, mama. Oh, yo, mama, you got a new name. It's Bridget's next court date. Okay? Shut the hell up. Mind your business. Anyway. But I never see, receive nothing. Yo, mama's always wrong. Absolute trash. Don't hide your hammer. Your mammer. No, yeah. Kate likes to time him out. <laughs> but anyway, here's Yabba. So, you tell me where I was supposed to assume that they were overwhelmed and, uh, whatever. Um, bites. Hello. Welcome, everybody. Good to see you all here this morning. I cannot believe it's been two weeks. I think it's been over two weeks. Tittany, hello. Thank you for being a member for 23 months. I appreciate you, girl. Shelly Ray, hello. Thank you for being a member for 20 months. I appreciate you. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Quentin, thank you for being a member for 24 months. Two years strong. Look at you all go. Hello, DG. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. We're not going to do the regular... Thanks for being a member. Thanks for the same for Whatever. Uh, roll call this morning. <laughs> Um, just because I just have a lot to talk about. Terry Lynn, hello. Thank you for being a member for 25 months. Holy cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching on our first stream back. Holy crap. But, you know, whatever. I get it. I ain't gonna, you know, it's whatever. As we were over the two-year mark. <laughs> uh, Lynn, hello. Thank you for being a member for three months, girl. Welcome, welcome. Lindsay, thank you. Thank you so much. Beatles. 
thank you all for your support. Seriously, like, holy crap, man. I don't even have words to express, like, how I feel about that. AJ, thank you so much for being a member. Hold on. Let me see if I can pull up the chat. In all fairness, she's so appreciative. I mean, I know she wouldn't want to be on here like, yeah, blah, 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 you know, but uh, I want to listen for the word overwhelming. Let's see if we hear it. For 25 months. I love it. Twenty. Is that AJ Lair? Hold on. No, that's uh, that AJ's over here as well. So let's see. Five months. Can you believe it? Jojo, thank you for being a member for four months. Platy, thank you so much for gifting five of the YouTube Underground memberships. No, thank you. Thank you for being a member for 25 months. Vert, you too. Tally, 25 months. Wow, we got a lot of them, huh? Spicy Senorita, Scorpio Angel, Sinful Princess. Thank you so much, you guys. That is awesome. April, Cheeto Firecat. Thank you, thank you. I missed you guys too. I can't believe it, man. It feels like there's Mrs. Pickle, Mrs. Pickles over there causing all kinds of damn trouble. Shout out to Belinda Feller. Oh God. <sighs> it's went by so fast, but it also feels like it's been so long. Nancy, thank you so much for gifting a membership. Holy crap! Hold on, hold please. Oh my goodness, he's gonna start crying. <laughs> uh, Jojo B, thank you. Uh, thank you for being a member for seven months, Miss Pickles. Shout out to Belinda Feller. Yes, um, Addicted to Cold Brew, thank you, Pamela May. Everybody, thank you so much. I'm probably not going to be able to read them all. Sorry about that. Belinda, especially you, Belinda, for doing so much for us. That was so kind and so nice of her. We hmm. Should we uh, tap it back? Belinda, especially you. Now keep in mind, no text messages. No nothing being. Belinda, stop. Don't do. She could have come in on that second one, texted me, messaged me. Hey, don't do that. And I wouldn't have done it. I would have understood and there wouldn't have been a problem. Yes. Um, addicted to cold brew. Thank you, Pamela May. Everybody, thank you so much. I'm probably not going to be able to read them all. Sorry about that. Belinda, especially you, Belinda, for doing so much for us. That was. Now, I didn't do it for any type of recognition. That's what they're going to say. Well, she was just doing it for recognition. Because me, Yabba, and I are like super duper. Uh, fancy, like, uh, that Mr. Beast, like, we outrank him even, and, uh, like, Belinda was, no, bitch, I did it from my heart. Let me say that again. I did it with true intentions and true. Because I had people trying to tell me, Belinda, don't fucking do that. The fuck are you doing? They don't need no damn money. Do you know how many people were in my DMs telling me not to fucking do it after what y'all did to me? Yeah, I was wrong with that tyrant's downfall situation. But technically, it was my idea. I, yet again, put that out there first on Twitter. Like, hey. Maybe somebody already interviewed the band. Bada boom, bada bing. Next thing I know, they got an interview set up. And they got mad and went absolute batshit crazy. Absolute batshit crazy. Because Alex, I read Alex and I said something about, uh, yeah, you're to go over there. I never contacted that band. I think I they had tweeted. I said, "Hey, I'm on. I'm live right now. If you want to come on panel, but you will never see a message between me and them. Never. Lord, they do. Holy shit, girl. She probably over there. Me and Alice. She probably texting them whenever I tweeted that. I bet they got a damn message within five minutes. Are they over there on Twitter? And it passed your like bedtime, yeah, and." Samantha Calvin. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Belinda, especially you, Belinda, for doing so much for us. That was so kind and so nice of her. We were shocked. Like, wow, you guys literally did so much. Um... The merch orders, they're all going out. Um, it might take a little bit longer, but we're going to get to it. You heard. I made that clear in the streams that, you know, because they had a lot going on, it might take six fucking months. Did we not make that clear? Yes, we did. And no one had a problem. I want to see complaints, Yava and Sam. I want to see any. Did you get any emails saying, hey, where the fuck's my damn merch at, bitch? I'll wait. Watch there actually be one. But I highly doubt it. Because we have a good group of people over here. And we understood. We understood the assignment. <laughs> Jack. Yes, he's right there in his kennel. Should we uh, go back? I mean, it's what she does to Chantel, right? She does that to that stupid bitch. Let's do it to her. Good for the goose. It's good for the fat ass. Whatever. <sighs> Gigi says, Yabba. Yabba really tweeted, Enjoy your attention while sitting next to Sam, who wouldn't have an audience with that. Is she really tweeting, Enjoy the attention? Are you serious? What did you expect her to say? She wasn't going to come out here and be rude. I would have expected her Lex to have texted me. Or something. On the down low. But, uh. I didn't see yours. So video. nice of her. We were so kind and so nice of her. For us, that was so kind. Hold on. Belinda, especially you, Belinda, for doing so much for us. That was so kind and so nice of her. We were shocked. Like, wow, you guys literally did so much. Um... The merch orders, they're all going out. Um, it might take a little bit longer, but we're going to get to it. You heard Jack. Yes, he's right there in his kennel. All right, whatever. You know, you, my honest opinion, I'll be down here in a minute, but my honest opinion is that because they were mad over the interview, wow. She says on Twitter, I'll show you. Hold on. Uh, enjoy, enjoy your attention. Okay. I mean, you're free to come over here in the chat if you want to. And show your whole ass. Oh, you ain't going to do that. They mad. What they expected me to do was to uh, turn on super chats and all that stuff and sit over here and collect money. Of their tragedy or whatever. Whatever. Hold on, I'm trying to get this together. But, in my opinion, it wouldn't have mattered. Uh, let's say I didn't do the fundraiser. Okay? Which now, looking back, I wish I hadn't. Um, no, I take it. I'm glad we did it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to take that back. Absolutely not. I mean it with good intentions, and I'll take that, and I'll die on that motherfucking hill. And you can eat my ass, so. But let's say I didn't do the uh, fundraiser. After I did the uh, interview, these bitches would have been mad and saying, like, Belinda is over there doing an interview with this guy and dropped his cash app and never even thought about helping us after our loss. They're that kind of person. You see what I'm saying? It wouldn't have mattered. 
You're sound if you do, and you're sound if you don't. If I hadn't have forgot and didn't send that money, they'd have been mad because I sent it. Belinda had to make sure that she sent that money right on payday because she felt like Yaba and I didn't trust her to send the money when we actually did not need your money, Belinda. Right. Would you agree with that, chat? It wouldn't have mattered. Because at the end of the day, Samantha Calvin and Yaba, who has been passed up in subscribers by Fridge Fright Girl now. That sucks. <laughs> Imagine being on YouTube that long. <laughs> I'm just saying. Imagine, but whatever, okay? <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered. At the end of the day, yeah, good for Frenchie, honey. Mm -hmm. Good for her. Good for her. You know, Frenchie, she's a damn cunt, okay? Listen, she's a cunt from the pits of hell, but she's a smart motherfucker. All right. You got to give her that. But it wouldn't have mattered, fundraiser or whatever, because at the end, of, when it's all said and done, what they're mad over is because they got turned down for yeah, like the professional got turned down for an interview. They didn't get an interview. They felt slighted in some way when do not drop a PayPal in here. Do not, hussy, if that's what you're talking about. We're not doing no PayPal links, nothing concerning money and associating that with me. Do not. I'll have to take it out. They're not gonna get that. Mm -mm. If one PayPal link or anything is dropped in this chat. Well, you know, they'll say, oh, look, there she was. Like, she dropped the PayPal link. <laughs> uh, I actually removed it from the description and from these little boxes here on the screen uh, because I don't want the money. I want to come on here and tell you guys my side of the fucking story. And this is how I seen it, and this is what happened. So, we will go over. We'll, let's take a, hold on. Let me grab, hold on. I was going to show you how Yabba's acting her, acting her ass out over there on the damn Twitter. Good great. Ha ha. Hussy. Hussy. Hold on. Hussy, I don't mean nothing by that. I just, uh, sorry, I didn't, I, I should have told you, but, uh, yeah. I don't want any money. It's not about money. Hold on. Absolutely not. Do not send me money. Okay? I'd rather you send it to Yab and Sam, to be honest. So. You could drop their cash app if you want to. No, don't do that. They'll accuse me of some kind of damn whatever. So here's Yab on Twitter right now. Vague tweeting. All right, hussy. No problem. I will not send them money. I mean, you could send them a money to, you know, say from the, uh, I don't know. Fat hillbilly. <laughs> you responded, well, I'm blocked. Yeah, it's nothing. I'm blocked, so I can't see all that stuff, so. Gigi went to fuck off last night on Peanut Stream. Did you see that? I was like, holy shit! Because he had done had it damn enough, Okay. And, uh, he read people all over the damn place. Holy shit. You've seen them enough vittles? Yeah. Yeah. Apologizing for sending money. Oh, my. I've heard it all now. Mm. You've had enough. I know, GG. I know. All right. So, there's that. Uh, you can imagine what all they're going to come up with. It's whatever. It is what it is. And this is my, how I seen it. How I all seen it all go down. And, uh. Uh, that's the only part that I can tell, right? So, this is, I want, I do want to end it with it. They were so overwhelmed by merch orders and stuff. This is just one screenshot I've got that very soon afterwards on October the 22nd that Samantha was back at pushing that 
very overwhelming uh, merch store. So if you're really overwhelmed by all the merch orders, would you continuously? She did this on a stream too. Which fine. I get it. You're a business owner. Right. Right. Like. And she is like, she was go through her whole merch and all this stuff, you know, and they're so overwhelmed. Um I could find that stream for you and link it, but yeah. So overwhelmed by merch orders. And you know, me uh exploiting and their situation. <laughs> I'm sorry. I won't be talking like that beach forever. Absolutely not. I know gaining ground, okay? Shut the hell up. And I told you not to be over trying to get none from Tragic, too. Now, didn't I? Okay? Fuck around and find out, bitch, because I'm in the mood today. All right? <laughs> On that, they mad. Listen. They mad over like 50 bucks. I said 35 the other day on Twitter. Is that like, Belinda, you're mad. Uh, it wasn't thirty-five dollars. Okay, that was just a number I tossed out of there off my off the top of my fucking head, and I was like, "Hey, listen, even tragic charge forty. You all out here selling your damn soul and showing your whole ass for thirty goddamn dollars, thirty-five. <laughs> oh Lord. Anyway, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this. I know there's some people want to cover it. Uh. And, uh, whatever. I'll just say this. Listen. <sighs> I don't know how to end it. I've got 10 more receipts, too, for need. We might do another stream if we have to, because I'm assuming that, uh, <laughs> you know, God only knows what the hell's going to happen. I'm assuming phone calls, credit reports, God only knows what is going to be done. I'll probably have some hog feller down here at my damn house live stream. Who the hell knows? Okay? Who the absolute hell knows? Whatever. I, I'll deal with it when that time comes. Okay? I guess I want to end it with this. Is uh, Don't... I've got a lot of messages. And I do appreciate everybody's kindness and concern. First of all. And the messages. Um... And the majority of those messages have been telling me, Belinda, don't let this change how you interact with people on the internet. So I'm going to leave with this, and I'm not. Don't let people's jealousy... And they're just, they're just evil. They're evil... So, Sam in particular, just evil. Is this something is diabolical about her? Now that I'm looking back on some of this stuff, and I'm so sorry that I even associated myself with them. Uh, hindsight's twenty twenty. Uh, if you're a good person, it's going to show through. If you're a bad person, it's going to show through. And these motherfuckers will never change me, okay? They won't. They're going to try. They're going to try. They're going to try to uh, destroy my character. Um, Etc. It's not going to happen. Because at the end of the day, character stands over bullshit. Okay? Uh, oh, did we decide what we need to do with the money and then a total amount? Oh, I do need to make... Because... Uh, ha, 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 ha. Pause. Pause! Back it up. Do we decide what to do with the money? And how much? Because that's important. You wouldn't give them anything? No, nah, they... Dog charity? Donate it? Send it to Yabba? Yeah. Send it to them to be petty? How much? Donate it to a fat camp? Donate it to you? No, I'm not doing that. Sam said dog shelter. Well, fuck her. I'm not doing what she said. Seeing $35. $100 to your local shelter. Oh, 
what did you figure? Uh, I, right off the top of my head, I said 35 because uh, it was like 97, 78, but that includes the, the chats and stuff that people meant for me. But we're being generous here. I think it was like, nine, like 100 bucks. Send it to Zeth. I thought about that. Send it to Miss Fuckum. I thought about sending it to Zeth. Give it to your new green baby. Because I, I am conflicted about that. Should I give it to them? What was this live about? What the fuck are you talking about? What do you mean, what the hell was the live about? Is he fucking eating them chocolates again? Connections count. <gasps> Give it to a rehab? Oh. I mean, Yabba and Sam, like, you could come in here and vote. <laughs> to your mama? Should. Give it to Noel. <laughs> hey, you know, that's kind of a good idea because I will tell you something. Noel is the guy that runs Kiwi Farms and Kiwi Farms has been absolutely on fire. And Yaba and Sam really use the hell out of Kiwi Farms for their groundbreaking content. And they have never given them a dime, so I may... I may fucking do that. And I'll put from... a Staff! I see you. Staff, you're a attention-seeking whore. But what the fuck am I supposed to put as the options? Hello? <laughs> Alright, hold on. Uh, let me get you some different options. Hold on. I bet it won't fucking work. And if, I, if we do a shelter, we'll find one in their area. Um, Alright. Yeah, if we do a shelter, it would be one in their area. Not mine. Because we are going to do... <laughs> yet again. Because I thought, fuck it, I'm not doing no damn fundraiser for the local shelter down here. But I am. <laughs> Send them a $35 Golden Corral card. <laughs> <clears throat> give directly to them because they are petty we'll get up there and vote that's one of the options I know a charity would be a better choice but I don't know if they would even accept it they probably got me blocked on there somehow or something to even be able to send them money so I may have to ask a favor or set up another account and go undercover to get the fucking money to them and then they'll send it back and maybe I'll have to put it as a Maybe I'll have to wait a day or two and do it as incognito. Because they'll send it back. They'll be petty and send it back, you know. Kiwi Farms on the list. Because Kiwi Farms does Yabba, Yabba, and Sam's job for them. But they hate them. So we're being petty. Mind your business. Got a blank box. Uh, Debbie, let me read out the options to you. Hold on. We have uh, Samantha Cal Calvin. And, and I should put Yab on there, too. That would be either one of them is the first option. Uh, Kiwi Farms is the second. Connections Cafe is the third. Dog Shelter is the fourth. Dog Shelter is in the lead right now at 42%. Next DVDs. Should I send them the whole $100? Sam wanted money from Hussie for winning his case when she got all the her evidence from Kiwi Farms. Nikki B, are you in... Are you serious? Yikes. Hussy, is that what happened? 
No, exact amount. A gift card to the app. I should put eggs on there. Damn it. Because I, I would seriously send it to eggs. Fuck around. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wouldn't send him shit. Fuck his ass too. Uh, Dad's texting me. Remember Christmas dinner? <laughs> Hold on, Gigi. Uh, you sitting it? What do you see me? What? Uh, hold on. Why don't you want to send your own local shelter? You wanted to raise money for them. That would be perfect. Because they would say that's beneficial to only my area and not theirs. And it was like meant for them. And it now. You know. You know what I mean? Don't be petty. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, my podunk area. Yeah. Yeah. Sam even said it to a dog show. That was... Yeah, but if I did that, because you cannot do nothing to satisfy Sam if you do, and Sam if you don't over there. Even though she said it, if I did it, she's going to be like, uh, yeah, but that was a joke. Like, I didn't mean that. Like, we really needed the money. <laughs> Send it to Russ. I think I'm... Honestly... My gut's telling me just to send it to them because I don't want to hear. Like, Belinda, how dare you? How dare you send, make the decision on how our money should be spent? So we're going to cancel the poll. My gut's saying, yeah, let's send it to them. I mean, it's not going to matter. Uh, the winning result, though, is the dog shelter. So let me write that down just in case I change my mind because you know how I am. I am very fucking sporadic. I'm so sporadic. Uh, hold on. Dog shelter. And we'll pick one in there if I decided it that way. But more than likely, I'm going to make the executive decision to send it to their fucking ass. Because I don't want to hear no bullshit about it. Any hootie. Alright. So that's it. That's all I've got. Uh, it's been a lot. I ain't fucking tired. Yeah, I'll send it to her. If they send it back, then we'll go with the dog shelter. That's a good idea, Steph. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I don't have proof that I did try, so. Yeah, they're not They're not sleeping. <laughs> I gotta stop talking like that stupid bitch. Anyway, thanks, you guys. I appreciate you hanging out over here with me, and I'm so sorry that this has been a whole damn shit show, okay? And uh, I try to have it as organized as possible, but whatever, it didn't end up that way. I guess it is what it is. I hope that... You can understand it from my perspective and what I've seen. And uh, even Yavin and Sam, I hope that they can see it from my perspective. Um, but that's how I saw things. So maybe you need to sleep on it. Whatever. I love you, fellas. And uh, we'll see you guys probably tomorrow. Bye, y'all.